Hello, and welcome to Inside NC, Neosho County Community College. In this short tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Inside NC to create a discussion forum. When logging into Inside NC, you'll want to select the forums page on the left hand side of the navigation menu. After selecting forums, then select Discussion Forums Portlet, which is found on the left hand side. Selecting it once will open up the Discussion Forums Portlet. At the top left of your screen, you'll see some categories to choose from, including Edit Forum, sub Subscribe to Forum, Unread Post and Replies, My Post and Replies, and a User List. To create a forum, we first must have to edit the forum. Select Edit Forum. From here, there are several options to choose from. You can add a category, such as Unit 1, Unit 2, Unit 3, and so forth, and then create the, the forum topics directly underneath each category. By default, one category has already been created for us called General. Also by default, one topic has been created called Open Discussion. If you didn't want this category or topic, you would want to edit these categories and topics. To do so, I'm going to select the Edit Category option to the right uh, of the word General. By selecting Edit Category, I can now give it my own category name, which would be Unit 1. You can also choose to give it a description. When done, select Save Category. To add a topic, down at the bottom, you can select the Add a Topic command, or, since there already is a topic, you can choose the Edit option and change the topic name. In the description, you'll want to be very detailed to the students in what you expect them to post and reply. This is where the description of your topic goes. Once completed, you, have, you can choose some additional options at the bottom. For example, you can set the activation to Display Now, Display Later Manually, or Display It on a particular date. Likewise, you can choose when you want the topic to end. For the new content, you can choose Post and Replies, Post Only, or Replies Only. These options can limit the type of new content people can create in this topic. The second, uh, the third option, that is, is access. Do you want it available to all users and guests or just to a restricted group? By selecting restricted, you have the option of choosing who you want to select from. You can also set restrictions. For example, viewers can see all the topic's content with no restrictions or post first where the viewers can only see the content of the topic after they write their own post, or private, where they can never see any other comments other than their own. You can also choose the checkbox to not allow changes. Moderation can also be set if you want to approve or disapprove a post before it's made. Choose Save Topic to complete the process. Here, you can now see our Unit 1 category with the corresponding topic. To add an additional category, select Add a Category at the top and complete the process in a similar manner. Now, I have two categories, Unit 1 and Unit 2. For Unit 2, I'll also add a topic.
To exit and return to the forum, select the right-hand uh, hyperlink at the top. Exit and return to forum. Here, now you can see Unit 1 and Unit 2 and the topics within. Other options with the Discussion Forum Portlet include subscription to the forum. Choosing Subscribe to Forum at the top allows you to receive email notifications of new posts and replies. You can also add all the posts and replies to one uh, subscribe forum. Choosing Unread Posts and Replies will give you a list of all of the Discussion Forum posts and replies that have not been read. Your own posts and replies can also be viewed, and a user list with how many posts were made and how many replies were made. This concludes the discussion forum video. Thank you for joining me.